We cannot go backwards. We don't have time. We can't go backwards. We don't have time. So with that comes an awareness. You need to be aware of everything that we talked about yesterday and do everything intentionally. All right, we're not just going through the motions, old people or returning students, new people. Gather as much information as you can from the people around you. We're focusing on, on details. When we go in here, after we work out, we're gonna do marching fundamentals. I really need my old people to set the example so that the new people can get it quickly. So you need to make a conscious effort to be tight in what you do. New people, they're not gonna be able to verbally tell you what to do, so you're gonna have to use your eyes and look around. Look at the details, how people are holding their hand, how people's arms are going. You got some training wheels time. We'll give you a little bit of a, a learning curve, but you gotta pick it up quickly. All right. So we got four doors. We're about to go to the gym. Uh, go ahead, line up like you did yesterday. Um, no instruments. Let's go. Continue to snap, because the precision is going away now that we're doing the whole thing. You have to snap regardless of the tempo. They could call attention faster than that. You still have to snap regardless of what it is. It could be J-H-S. It could be J-H-S. Regardless of the tempo, you gotta snap. Take it again. It feels absolutely great. It's amazing because the band is doing such a phenomenal job. This is probably one of the best first day or second day of camps we've had. So the band is starting really ahead of the game. So I'm excited to see what they do. Ugh, 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 ugh. I'm seeing floating movements already, y'all. For example, I'm seeing J, H, S. That's not it. It's a snap and lock. It's like a picture, every single movement. We shouldn't see floating knees. We've been working for like two weeks now. So now we're getting into the fundamentals of band, which is different for a lot of the new people and for the old girls too, because we don't really focus on it a lot. So we want everybody to be on the same accord. So now we're like really kind of just like drilling, marching techniques and things like that. And just this one being still smiling. Y'all, they're giving you the tempo. Y'all are coming in hesitant. Y'all are slowing it down. They're Whistle, the whistle they give you is the tempo that you're, you're supposed to be operating at. Y'all slow it down. Try it again. So my name is LaKendrick Davis. I represent Choreo Jazzy Elite in the Southern Leadership Academy for Majorettes. Five, six, seven, and one, two, ready, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, five. Strong jazz on your right hand side. Strong jazz hands on your right hand side. Five, six, seven, and, and one, and two, twirl, three, over four, and five. Up, stop, one, come out, two, come out, five. This year, definitely a completely different experience, more Winter Guard than Color Guard, something totally different, and I'm excited about it because they're gonna be the first band in Atlanta to pretty much premiere a Winter Guard versus Color Guard. How does it feel to be back? It's amazing. I'm just ready to bring in a new season, you know, get ready for Macy's, show some new things with the drum line, and just add a little flair, you know? Y'all got a boom in the beginning too. Y'all got that boom in the beginning too. It just don't go in the groove. Play the boom, play the boom. Boom, boom, all right? Five and six. What can we expect from the drum line? You ever seen drum line in the movie? Times three. Hey, 
Them knees up. You front line for a reason. I should see those 90s. My name is William Shelton, head drum major of the Jonesboro Majestic Marching Cardinals. All right, what's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? My name is Micah. It's my second year being Jonesboro. DM. Yeah. My name is Bailey. First year being a drum major of the Majestic Marching Cardinals. My name is Kev. It's also my first year being a drum major of the Majestic Marching Cardinals. Out. To me, it was everybody coming together, motivating each other. Yep. Making sure they had everybody had that energy at all times. Being able to come in, everybody's tired, being able to hype them up and get them ready for this experience. And also what Micah said, I like when everybody is collective, is also motivating with each other because I feel like that keeps us pushing, keeps us moving forward like faster and keep things going, keep everybody positive and upright. Also seeing everybody come in motivated and happy to be back at what we've been doing for a couple years now. You know, it really hasn't been no terrible part of our band camp. You know, we all coming on the same thing, trying to grow, trying to be better. So it's nothing really worst part about it. Like I said, trying to get out of that summer mindset. You know, we go into summer, we get real lackadaisical, you know what I'm saying? Get used to having that break, having time off, doing what we want. But now that we're on band time, we have to understand we have high responsibilities and standards that we have to reach. So just getting them back into that mindset and knowing that we got a job to do. It's a little strenuous, but you know, we always get it done every year. So it's all good. Just getting everybody back on the same page because some people come in and they be in that like home mindset so they get tired and they get like not motivated. So you got to just keep them up. Just keeping that energy up. Keeping that energy up. When they come in, just like they said, it's summer mindset. But when you're in band, you got to understand the fact that you're doing it for everybody else as well. If you're tired, you can't give up because the person next to you isn't tired. So just keeping that energy up, keeping that motivation, keeping that drive and that hunger that we always have. moments like that where your upperclassmen are gone and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to step up all right and we should still be able to function as a, a full band that goes for everybody else too y'all give the um the new drumline members a round of applause <laughs> Be. It should be a well-oiled machine, regardless of who is in front of you. Uh, if your section leaders are here, or if the seniors are here, you should be. It should still be the same level of quality. All right. Practice is going phenomenally because, like I said, we started off on a high note, and the kids are really locked in. Which is, I'm not going to say it's ironic. It's just different for them to be this locked in this early in the game. So it's actually kind of scary, but in a really good way. You know, if they keep this same focus and locked inness for the remainder of the first couple of months or a couple of weeks, we're gonna be fine. Two and breathe and. Very good, good stuff. So just remembering all that stuff is what's gonna make you different. Um, let's go straight to the corral. 
the, un the no name corral. The no name corral. What part do you play Mackenzie Braswell? You say first? Okay. What part do you, uh, what part do you play? Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Third, okay. Trombones, your thirds are over here or over here? Over here, okay. Yeah, people who play like parts should be sitting next to each other. First in the middle, thirds and seconds. Cause what happens is I hear Mackenzie sticking out over here because she's, just because there's one person in between, it sounds like she's the only person playing first over here by herself. I'm excited for New York. I'm excited for what's about to happen with New York, but I am not ready. Like, I don't know what we wearing. I don't know, nothing. The only thing we're not ready of is the show itself. Like as staff, we haven't put together what the show is gonna look like and the music and all of that. But in terms of sound, they could do that tomorrow.